Jesus. What are you even talking about? Yeah, right. like, clearly, we have nothing prepared for this one. Yeah, but, right. but this is podcast number Boy. four. When I get home, I'm going to slap your mom upside the head. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's no way. No you, way you, you can be from, from my loins. loins. Yeah. Uh, right, Call right. back. Yes. All right. So uh, the only thing we really wanted to talk about this time, we have nothing prepared. Uh, we're, uh, we've made it pretty clear that, uh, that we're both in our 50s, which means that we kind of grew up, uh, you know, both of us were born in the 60s. We're kind of familiar with the 70s. 70s is when everything kind of came into, started to come into focus, mm-hmm. lived through the 80s, uh, and, uh, you know, became kind of who we were after that, like 90s. Mm-hmm. But, uh, but, I, there, there is definitely this kind of things thing that people talk about how, you know, the things that kids do nowadays, uh, or the things we did back then, nobody could do now. You know, like, like, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure about couldn't do, but either wouldn't do or don't do. Don't do, and also are are like their parents, like, like you know, like for example, I live in a neighborhood. I know there's kids that live in this neighborhood. I don't see kids out on bicycles. Yeah, no. For example. No, exactly. Yeah. And uh, and so uh, I, grew up, I grew up in Atlanta, mm-hmm. and you grew up in? I grew up in a couple of small towns uh, in Florida. Okay. Yeah, and, and when I say Atlanta, I mean that, uh, that a suburb. The Atlanta. Burbs, yeah. Yeah, the Burbs, yeah, yeah uh, north of Atlanta. And, uh, and so, I don't know, and, and what kind of made me think about this, and again, I recently uh, talked to my brother, and uh, and and he he didn't he doesn't remember this, but I, I for some reason it was like carved in my brain. He denies it, and uh, but like he was probably maybe in second grade, maybe first. Okay, mm-hmm. and and again, you also have to kind of keep this in context. Like think about a first grader, like a like a six year old, right? Mm-hmm. And he and I remember him like walking to school, like mm-hmm. like like he was actually like you know here's your books, here's mm-hmm. your lunch. You know, and mm-hmm. and it was close, but right. even there's no six year olds out there like Never wondering. Are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah, walking through. But he's like, no, no, no. You know that that didn't happen. But I will say that you know I went back and like I, I looked at the apartment we were in. I looked at where the school was. I looked at the route. Mm-hmm. You know, I, you know maybe he only did it once or twice, but I kind of remember him having free reign. Mm. And but anyway, but he didn't. Is he it. older than you? Yeah, he's uh, about four years older than me. Okay, so you were little, little. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, mm. You know, but but I think it was something that came up later in conversation. Mm. I mean, there was no way I would remember it at the time. Okay. I mean, well, I know we used to walk to school when I was in. Oh, well, I think it was first grade, probably fourth grade. Right. You know, yeah. We used to walk well, that's to school. still pretty damn young. Yeah. What is and, that? Eight, nine? Yeah, nine or ten or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and I remember that's the first time I skipped school. <laughs> uh, I don't. Do kids skip school nowadays? No, but I did. Yeah, I did too. That was the first time I just. I, and it wasn't like I was trying to be. Like malicious, I guess. I, I, I mean, I was okay with being irresponsible. Well, right. I just wasn't okay with being mean. I wasn't. There was nothing mean about it. When I decided, this wasn't like I hated my teacher and I couldn't go to school. It was right. like I wanted to do other stuff. I didn't want to go to school, you know. And right. I had a buddy lived across the street from me, and uh, this was in Sanford, Florida. And there mm-hmm. was a little, a little section about. I'd say I don't. It's so hard to 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 know distances when you were that young, but mm-hmm. it was it was maybe a mile from the house. Right. We had a little Seven Eleven, and there was a busy intersection, probably a, you know, two lanes on either side. So it was a four 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 lane wide intersection we had to cross. But on the other side of that, across from the Seven Eleven, there was this open um, wooded area, mm-hmm. and there was no houses or anything. And it was probably I don't know two or three blocks in either direction. So it was kind of big. And we played there when, when my brother would take me. We would play and. Um, they were both older than me, and we called it the trails. Oh and, God! Yeah. And you would take your bicycle, and it, there was trails going through the woods, and oh. there was like little humps that you could jump. And of course, we thought we were BMX stars. One hundred percent. We didn't have the trails; we had the hole. Okay. Okay. Same yeah. thing. But when I skipped school that day, I, I was—I remember clearly—I was in fourth grade, and my buddy and I were walking to school. It, was, it couldn't have been three blocks mm-hmm. to get to school, four maybe at the most. And um, we were just like, "Oh man, we should go to the trails." I don't want to go to—I don't know if I didn't do my homework or whatever it was, right? Right. And we decided on the way to school. That's it. We're going to go to the trails, and we'll just you know keep our eye on the clock, and we'll stop at the Seven Eleven for lunch, and we probably had a buck or something in our pocket. Right. And um, off we went. Walked up the street. Nobody said anything to us, and walked a mile. Went up to the trails and hung out. And I got caught by my uncle who was a motorcycle rider <laughs> he was out riding the trails and we heard somebody coming and so we climbed up in a tree and of course 
in our minds, we were 30 feet up, you know, right. uh, under cover of a bush. Right. Truthfully, you were probably like six feet up on a limb right. <laughs> on the wide open, you know. Pretty, so pretty, he, pretty out there. Yeah, you think? And then so he's riding his bike around and he glances up and sees two kids in a tree and recognizes me. And he stops and what the hell are you guys doing? <laughs> You're right. supposed to be at school. Get your ass home, you know. Did he throw you the wolf? Uh, oh, yeah, totally. He made us go home. Yeah. Okay. And then so I went home and just had to wait in terror for hours before my mom got home and did she tear it up did read, she spank you read, oh yeah hell yeah are you kidding yeah. me yeah that's something too nowadays i don't think kids get spanked yeah i don't think so no we got whipped like crazy oh geez yeah i mean yeah I, I, no well doubt. again i had it coming let's yeah. be clear it <laughs> wasn't totally like, deserved I, it, yeah I, yeah this isn't like me saying oh my god i got beat no yeah. i freaking yeah. when i got when i got tore up it yeah. was you it deserved totally it. had it coming yeah yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe a couple times it was like, you know, maybe my dad was just kind of like, well, I'm just going to go ahead and smack this kid around. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> Keep him in line. <laughs> but, uh, but for the most part, when it happened, it was all good. Uh, my, dad, mean, my dad shot my friend once with a BB gun. And he had it coming. He did. Yeah. No, he really did. <laughs> and we were just messing around. We were drinking beers out back, and I think he might have had a couple beers too many. Yeah, I never, I never skipped school uh, in, in grade school. I uh, did in high school yeah. a lot. Oh, yeah, me too in high school. Oh, a lot. ton. Yeah. And, and I didn't get caught. Yeah. You know, I, I, you know, and well, they, I had I had my own transportation at that point, so sure. I could I could go places where I wouldn't get caught. Right. You know, oftentimes we go to the beach because none of my parents never right. went to the beach. So. Yeah, and I, I don't know. And again, this this is we're, we're kind of going off in a, a bit of a different angle here, but I, because I, I didn't want to talk too much about high school, that's a whole other conversation. Yeah, but uh, but like I never got caught, and I don't I don't know how I graduated. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. like. Like, I think that was a time when people passed you just because they didn't want you around anymore. Yeah, I think that's true. I actually had to go to summer school to graduate. I, I Well, okay. I, I say that. I had to go to like a like a like uh, like an open campus thing for like the last two semesters. And I graduated mm-hmm. maybe like a like a six months later than all, all my classmates. Yeah, same here. Yeah. yeah. I, I had to go to a summer school because I didn't have enough credits. Right. But, yeah. but there were p- teachers that sure as hell passed me that I didn't yeah. deserve it. Yeah. Well, I remember I always got straight A's in all my art classes. Right. Um, but anything important, man. I took Spanish just because the girls never were pretty, and I flunked that like nothing, man. Right. I, yeah. I you're, speak Spanish. You're whatever the opposite of fluent is. That's yeah, true. exactly. <laughs> so, uh, non-fluent? <laughs> I don't know a damn word. <laughs> yeah. So I'm embarrassingly bad at even hey, everything. When you were little, do you guys have dirt clod fights? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh God. Did, did you? Well, again, I, 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 my planet title this episode is I Don't Know Why We're Alive. Yeah. <laughs> But I, but uh, I, we would we had dirt clod fights, and I know you you did this too. We had Roman candle fights. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, man, we our yeah. bottle rocket fights. Bottle rockets, yeah. Yeah, like we, we and we it, you'd have a Roman candle fight, and uh, and you would hit people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like people yeah. would get hit yeah. with a lit ball of fire, right? <laughs> yeah. And uh, and then you'd have and to laugh like crazy, <laughs> man. <Yeah. laughs> it's a miracle. It's yeah. a miracle, people. And, and this is and let's be clear. This is a time before like. Uh, like uh, flame retardant clothing? No. Yeah, no. So no, that's stuff. That's nylon. Was, yeah, okay? yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like nylon, polyester, cotton. Yeah, yeah. Very flammable. Yes. And so Roman, like a ball of this fire would hit somebody, and everybody would be cracking up. Yeah. You know, there's always this thing. This is an interesting. Like where, where something would happen, like where it should injure somebody, uh-huh. and you would be like, oh shit. Yeah. There's always that second. Oh right? yeah. You're like, yeah. oh my god. Yeah. Doug, Doug, are you okay? And you're like, yeah, I'm okay. And you're like, dude, that yeah, was, was so funny. funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as long as you know the guy can still talk. Oh, stuff, yeah, yeah, that's it. That's I know it, it doesn't turn to humor. Yep, yeah. yeah, God forbid someone was broken, but uh, yeah. which what occasionally would happen. But uh, well, you'd have the Roman candle fight, and then the Roman the the, the Roman candle casing was now the bottle rocket launcher because mm-hmm. you could slide the bottle rocket in there, and you'd have like a what are those things called? Those punks to light it. It, it was punk. like a stick that that would stay oh. hot, like a. We used it. No, we used a lighter. Oh no, we, we did. They, they made these things. They were. Uh, I think they were called punks. And they so it would like smolder. Yeah, they're just smolder. Yeah. And so you'd have these things, and you could you could light it with that. It would just oh, it would be like okay. a, like a, have a little cherry on it. No, like we, a just, we just had lighters. One of the things we used to like to do, and we literally did this right out in front of my house. Oh and sure. I, and I think my mother was. Yeah. She, I don't know what the hell. I don't know if she was at work because if she saw us do this, she, she, oh, God, she would man. kill us. But we used to take um, a Coke bottle. Oh, and yeah. we would tape the bottle rocket to the edge of the Coke bottle and slide the stick down inside the bottle and tape the edge to it and then light that thing. And there's a whole bunch of us around and we'd spin it and everybody would take off in different directions to see who got nailed with the bottle rocket, you know. So, yep. yeah. Yep. Again, the Lord knows. I don't know how we oh, didn't burn well, down the neighborhood. And man. I will tell you, honestly, and again, this is nothing I'm proud of. It's funny, but I'm, I'm not, like, bragging about it. But we did light shit on fire. Oh, yeah. And did all kinds of stuff that was probably, you know, like... Like you know, my dad's tool shed was 
you know, eighty percent of the stuff in there was flammable. Yeah. And, you know, and I know that because you know I lived because you lit it a yeah. little fire. Yeah, and uh, and there was no safety. I mean, yeah, of course not. No, yeah, I mean things. No were, and he didn't lock up anything. Yeah, you yeah. Know? And yeah. Uh, gasoline. God, well, this is... <laughs> I, I, I can tell you, there's like things I did with gasoline, and. Uh, and then not only do I'm surprised I'm not dead, I'm surprised I'm not scarred yes. and hairless. Yes. Like, because again, it was just like, you know, just somehow, I, it, it totally reinforces my belief in God. It really does because yeah. fire would envelop me and you'd be like, whoa. And then yeah. you'd be like, and then you're oh out of God, it. You're I'm like, totally out of it. Yeah. I mean, a little hair got burned off the arm. You're like, wow, that was awesome. Yeah. You know, so. Um, well, so there was, a, there was a place when I lived in Sanford. <clears throat> there was a, um, right behind our house, we had wooden fences that are like interwoven. You know, they'd drive a four by four into the ground every, right. every 15 feet or something. Then it would weave these big 12 foot long mm-hmm. you know so it was well i don't even know what you call that stuff but i know what you're talking it about. was really easy to climb right because it essentially made a step ladder out of right. your out of your eight foot fence right so we would run and jump on that thing and climb over and then we'd go into the woods behind the house and this mm-hmm. and there was an, another wooded area back there it wasn't very big but people used to drop junk back there all kinds of furniture sure. and all kinds of stuff i don't know one of us got the bright idea one day there was a there was a mattress back there. And we ripped a piece of foam off it, and somebody thought it was cool to light it. And uh, so, of course, now we have this ball of burning chemical. It's like napalm. It's, it's like napalm. And so then, like you know, it was slightly dangerous. It was just dangerous enough to be cool, but nobody got hurt. Mm-hmm. So then we started putting them on sticks and chasing each other around the woods. <laughs> <laughs> it's what dripping, the, burning what plastic. The hell? Uh, yeah, oh, it was God, like, so dangerous. Yeah, how how did we we're kind of brand each yeah, other? Yeah, well, exactly. you mentioned like the dirt cloud fights. Like, uh, it, we, like there's you, always a dude to put the rock. You know, yes, I was yeah, going to yeah, say yeah, that because yeah. you, you were in Florida, I was in yeah. uh, in Atlanta. Yeah. Like we we would actually occasionally have snow. You know, okay. and we would have snowball fights, and they were like, you know, it's got to be snow. Yep. Don't make it into ice. <laughs> Go pack it, and you're like, "Oh, well, I wasn't going to do that." But, <laughs> you gave me but the no, idea. that's a beautiful thing to do. And I remember, you know, uh, but but yeah, the dirt clod fights. Well, sometimes they just had rocks in them. Yeah, the dirt clods. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, and again, you know, there was always that like, like you know, you're whipping those things around, you're missing like crazy. Yeah. You know, you're not hitting each other, and then somebody will be like, there, there was always like that. You know, one shot in a million where, like, some kid... And you're, you're right, the fact that distance just seems longer. Yeah. Like, it's almost yeah. like you're thinking that person's, like, 200 yeah. feet. But yeah. really, they're probably, like, about 18 feet away or yeah, 20 yeah, feet away, yeah. right? And somebody would just haul off and, like, you know, sidearm a dirt Zing clod. Line, yeah. yeah, and that thing would, like, almost like, like, like some sort of major league pitcher. That thing would, like, arc around and, like, you know, get him right in the side of the head. Yeah. Right in the ear. <laughs> and it would, like... And it would bust... It would bust in a way where, yeah. where like it would smoke, <laughs> <laughs> boom, <laughs> and the kid would like it would It'd drop like a second hand. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, and you're like, and, and again, that sudden fear, like you yeah. know, oh, I think I might should have really him. hurt that guy. Yeah, yeah. I freaking yeah. killed that guy, and then and then you know, once you realize that you know he, he was going to probably walk oh, away, yeah. okay. Oh yeah, you're busting up laughing, oh, and then you're busting amazing. his chops for oh, the next yeah. well, how many and, weeks. And, yeah. and sometimes you have that guy that was just like you know he wouldn't forget it. You know yeah. what I mean? Oh, yeah. Now he he's like, back. Yeah. yeah, he's like whipping everything at you. Yeah. Like, you know, whatever he can get his hands on. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, you know, uh, we did all that. That's, That's another thing we should do. I, I don't, I, like you said, it, it, it is, a, I don't know, dis- disturbing is not the right word. It's too strong of a word, but it bothers me a little bit that you don't see kids playing out in, no. in, in the streets. One of the things, this is like our one of our favorite things to do. Right. I live in Florida, and it rained a lot, right. and the sewage system wasn't great, so sometimes the, the street drainage would back up. Right. You know, whatever, some stuff would get caught in there, whatever. Right. So then the street had two, three inches of water. Right. And, mm-hmm. man, we used to get on our bikes and tow the other guy on a, on a skimboard, like a, just a yeah. piece of plywood, you know? And just like your version of surfing, I guess. Sure. We ended up with ringworm <laughs> freaking oh, every up, freaking time, man. Dude, yeah. uh, you should have mama come and you say, what is this? And then she'd have to pour the, I don't know what she poured in there, iodine or peroxide oh, or something. I, I got to say another thing, too. You talk about that. Well, yeah, ringworms is fungus, but you put just about anything on it, it'll probably yeah. kill it, yeah. you know. But, but uh, uh, man, my freaking, it's, you mentioned that. Like, we, I remember as a kid, we would, like, try to fake uh, sick to school and uh, you know my dad would be like uh, we'd be like oh my throat is sore I, got a th- I think I got a uh, sore throat like- yeah and uh, and my dad would be like here let me see and uh, and he would uh, he would go into the cupboard and get like a, he was either methylate or campophanique like mm-hmm. you know and I think methylate had like mercury in it you know what I mean yeah, and he would be and he would be like let me swab your tonsils <laughs> 
and you get a Q-tip and like get this red <laughs> shit, you know. And it's like oh, you only had to do that like once, and you're like, I'm not gonna. I'm, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. Even even yeah. if you were sick, you yeah. would be like, you could almost be like on your deathbed. You'd yeah. be like, no, nah, I'm gonna yeah. ride the shit out <laughs> because. <laughs> Because <laughs> I, I, I don't want him to like put the. I mean, and again, it tasted bad, but it was literally mercury. You yeah, know what I mean? Like, God. like God, I know, and then you can't find it anymore. I think yeah, I, I've, somebody will Google it and it's let me great. know. I appreciate that's right. Yeah, I mean, uh, a lot of. Yeah. But uh, but no, you know, I mean, uh, uh, yeah, you know, uh, you know, the 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 my small little world was like definitely like where I lived. You know what I mean? You know, like I. Uh, you know, I, I had friends, you know, we'd, we'd play street football. We had a park near our house we'd go to. We lived near some office buildings and we'd ride our bikes. And there were like these massive warehouse district office buildings. We'd ride our bikes over there. Mm. You mentioned the whole, I mentioned the whole bike trail. There was a kid, I was talking to my brother about this. There was a kid that lived down the street from me. His, his first name was Kenny, right? Mm. And his backyard had this massive hill that like, and it, I say massive, again. Yeah. It was all relative, right? Seemed giant. It's seemed giant. Yeah. But, but uh but he had his father. His father was just like right there with us. Like like uh, he looked like a just your average dude, like old guy, right? right. But uh, they would build ramps in their backyard. This cat, this guy, uh, his collarbone was broken more than it wasn't. You know, like <laughs> like his dad was just like, oh shit. I mean, you know, and he and he had like one of those old banana seat bicycles. Oh, it wasn't yeah. even like a good bike to yeah. jump. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. And, and they were building these shitty cinder block plywood yep. jumps yep. and his dad was like right there like evil can evil and his kid yeah we, we my father never got participated in that for sure but um uh, we did a we did a lot of that stuff same with bikes. my dad yeah. my dad wasn't yeah he, yeah he, he was watching yeah. tv yeah exactly yeah. but um did you guys ever take it's one of the fun things that we used to do <clears throat> we go out into the backyard mm mm-hmm. I don't know how much grass we had, but it wasn't much. Right. It was pretty spotty, and and I think it's us that we have to thank for that. Huh. But we would take the hose out into the middle of the backyard and then turn that bastard on full blast and just let it whip around. No, and never did you that. try to dodge it. You know what I mean? And sure enough, <laughs> that brass thing, pow, comes <laughs> smack upside. <laughs> You're like, oh shit! And of course, everybody's laughing at you because yeah. you know very good. And well. Oh my god! Yeah. So uh, yeah, we did that a few times, and then yeah, I don't know. Some who knows what would happen. Something would happen, and then we would leave, and then we forget, and the hose is on. <laughs> it's yeah. still flying around in the backyard. My uncle or my mom would come on, like, "What the shit? The backyard's flooded. The hose is flopping around." It's right. like, I don't know how we didn't get murdered by our parents for oh, that. Oh well, I don't know. Like I said, it, it, you know, we, you know, when I was young, again, we everything was on bicycle. When we, and, and I, again, I was talking to my brother about this. Uh, you know, we had like. You know, don't cross this road. Don't cross this yeah, road. Yeah, yeah. You know, and we kind of respected that. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Not mm-hmm. always. You know, but like, the, but occasionally we would stretch our, our, uh, you know, your boundary. Yeah. yeah, a little bit, but not mm-hmm. too much. You know, mm-hmm. and every time you did, you felt like you were. Oh you know, yeah, you, you traveled, breaking the law. Yeah, yeah you traveled to freaking Romania yeah, yeah. or something. Well, you mentioned bicycles. I remember my oldest brother. He's five years older than me, and um, he got a skateboard. Oh wow! And it was a metal wheel skateboard. Remember right. those? Oh, those yeah. were metal wheels. Oh, yeah. oh Jesus! I couldn't ride the thing. My what, feet. What, but like, is a natural tendency for me. My feet are super ticklish, and I, really? I would try to ride that thing. I could do it. Huh. I, I couldn't do it. Then when the urethane wheels came out, that was all different. You know. Yeah, I never got into skateboarding. Did you? <clears throat> not 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 the way we think of skateboarding now. I used it as transportation, like I right. get it from here to there, but I didn't do flips really? and tricks and any of that stuff. Yeah. Well, also, you were in Florida, which is a little was, flatter. Yeah, yeah, oh flat? yeah, it's okay. dead flat. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's easier to get around than walking. I figured that played into it because. Like yeah. I, I, where I grew up in Atlanta, it was hilly as hell. It's too hilly, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, I, I you know, talk about bicycles. You know, I had a bike, but it wasn't anything special. Yeah, same. You know, thing. I got into it for a while. I got into uh, into like refurbishing bikes, as I called it. Basically, really? just taking bikes apart and trying to paint them and put them back. It always came out worse, but <laughs> whatever. You know, I I just liked the mechanics part of it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I'm you know just thinking about other things I did. You know, uh, you know, like I I was t- again talking to my brother. <laughs> Like we had kids in the neighborhood. I was young, you know. Like, like you know, I did have a couple of friends, but but most of the people, the kids in the neighborhood, are probably closer to my brother or sister's age. Both of them are older than me, and uh, I remember there was this one kid, man. I can't remember, I remember his name, but he had hung with this other kid named Jim, and uh, they were flying this kite. It was like flying a kite, like on one of those days, like you know, where the skies were dark, it was windy as hell, mm-hmm. and they're like flying it in the middle of the road. No, it was just stupid, right? Mm-hmm. This, this thing's gonna get stuck in a tree for sure, mm-hmm. right? And it does. It gets stuck in this freaking tree. It was like autumn, you know, and there's not a leaf on this damn tree. Mm-hmm. That thing is, it's again, uh, size. You, you, you kind of look at size differently. But in my eyes, that thing was 
He's a mile high. hundred feet in the yeah, air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And this kid, oh man, he was he, he was from like like Philadelphia or something. He always wore like a hockey jersey and he had red hair, you know. And uh, he was kind of fat. And uh, that kite was stuck in the very top of that tree, like in the smallest branches. <laughs> and that guy like climbed that damn tree. And like he, I don't know, it was like, you know, it was like a hidden tiger, crouching dragon yeah, stuff. Like literally like he's on these, he's like balancing yeah, on the, yeah, and, yeah. and I was like, oh, and even as like an eight year old, I'm going like, he is going to die. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna fall out of that tree and die. and die you know and yeah. he didn't he got his yeah. he got his kite you know yeah. and and got it down you know but well but yeah but again now you don't see anybody outside yeah, I, I haven't seen a kid climb a tree and and i can't even tell you when last i don't time. know i have no no clue yeah I, I imagine they i mean you know how it was when you were a kid i still do this i'll see a tree and i'm thinking that's a good climb i just did it this morning did you really just this morning we were walking lucy and yeah. and walking down and i saw this tree and i think man if i was a kid because the limbs were really low right. it's an oak tree you know and the limbs right. are really low. i think man i would be in that tree in no time flat and there's space just right yeah and you can go high yeah and yeah. sometimes you look at them, and of course we did tree we built tree forts and yeah crap. yeah well yeah we call them tree forts it they was were a, weak yeah. Yeah. yeah you always wanted like that one you would see in the movies oh that, yeah yeah, yeah. it was the like, tree fort yeah mine was yeah yeah like three three boards a couple of two by fours and you got lucky you got some plywood somewhere yeah. right and then you went over and just turned old the water be- hose yeah. on old beat up door or something yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 you know when we got a little bit older um my brother was a bad influence. My brother had a mean streak. He really did. Um, is, is this the brother that's passed away? Yeah, okay. yeah. And and it, it, you know when he was on your side, mm-hmm. he, he was a guy that you wanted on your side. And right. He grew up and he became a marine, and he's exactly the type of person we want to be a marine. You know, right. he will go kill some stuff on purpose and not even be bothered with it. But he's protecting the things that that he's wants, right. You know, as long as he's pointed in the right direction. Yeah, it's fine. exactly. <clears throat> anyway. A good example is he had some some somebody did him wrong him and his buddy right uh and they lived not too far from us so him and his buddy went out and poured battery acid all over the guy's car jeez louise I man know. i was just thinking like well of course needless to say the paint was ruined, ruined yeah. yeah and then some but uh but no so he was he influenced me to some and, and we started doing stuff that was um and if anybody's wondering that's not okay that's not okay yeah okay. and we started doing other stuff that's not okay like for example um, Smokey and the Bandit, 1978, came out. And we loved Trans Ams at the time. Right. And we loved Camaros. I was always a GM guy. So I Cam- love F-Body. And, yeah, yep. I was always Camaro. And so, uh, you know, I, I, I never, until later in life, I never put this together. But we would go and take a screwdriver and pop those emblems off the side of the car behind the driver's door. Mm-hmm. And they were just put on there with double foam, double-sided tape, foam, right. double-sided tape. And so they were super easy to get off, just slide it off. Now you got a Camaro emblem you could roll around with and not thinking that the poor bastard that has this car. Sure. Yeah, you know, it's weird. And, oh, man. man not, not, was, I think about it now like, oh, because I'm a car guy. You know, like, oh, yeah, what an idiot, man. Yeah, Jesus. well, there's so, well, gosh, that, that when you get into the high school period, mm. you know, I and, and I definitely did things that, you know, God, I look back and just regret, man. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to get into it because, again, it just makes it just makes me yeah not feel yeah. good. Stupid shit. Stupid yeah. shit. Stuff that's dangerous and, and yeah. hurt other people and things yeah. like that. You know, I definitely did things, and uh, and I and I. And, but I don't know what it is. I mean, I think when I, when I was pre when I was preteen, you know, I was harmless. You mm-hmm. know what I mean. You know, but uh, but teenagers, I don't know what's going on in their brain. Mm. You know what I mean? So yeah, uh, almost that crazy, yeah. Change the chemicals, you know. All your uh, yeah, not mature. Well, I mean, we we do know now that like you know, especially with men, uh, that they don't really the the, the 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 brain doesn't get done cooking until they're like in their mid to, mid to late twenties. Yeah. You know, and that kind of shows yeah. Yeah. what it did for me. Yeah. Well, look at medieval battlefields. Most of those guys were young on purpose, right. you know, because yeah. they took advantage of that. Well, you know, and you, um, we were talking. Well, no, this podcast, uh, where, uh, where, yeah, you you didn't finish high school. I didn't finish high school. Both of mm-hmm. us joined the military. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just kind of you yeah. know low yield. Yeah, exactly. You know, low drag, low yield. It's yep. an easy thing to do. Yep. You know, yep. yeah. I don't know how kids nowadays skip school. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. You know, one of the other things we did, I, I think, again, this is my brother's bad influence, is we used to go, I didn't even have a car at the time. I just did this for the kicks, but he, he needed gas for his car. And this was the 70s and the gas crunch, right? Right. Just kind of like where we are now. But um, he would go to construction sites and steal gas. Oh, yeah. And then <laughs> he made me, he was probably, I'm going to guess, I don't know, 16, something like that. So I was about 11, mm-hmm. maybe maybe 12. And he would make me siphon the gas because he knew that, you know, the guy siphoning the gas gets a mouthful of gas. So that was that was my brother. You're like, hey man, you can do this. That's cool. Then old, 
you know, paint the fence thing. But um, <laughs> your brother Tom Sawyer, yeah, you. Tom, Tom Sawyer, yeah. But I, you know, I, whatever, I trusted him. I, I got suckered in. Yeah, you know, it's funny you mentioned that the whole going to construction sites. There was a few times in, in my youth I remember where, like, I, I used to hang with this one guy, and and uh, he went to my school, but he wasn't in my neighborhood. And then he hung with a guy, you know, that was older than him. And this guy, who, oh my God, I, I could tell you stories that, that are not suitable for podcasts, but mm. uh, he, I, I know that they would do things where they'd go like on a walkabout, like where they'd go out and they would just walk and they would just cause havoc. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. uh, they used to go to construction sites and just, you know, thieve. Yeah. You know, steal yeah. stuff like, like a acetylene torch right. things and stuff like that. Yeah. So when you drive by construction site nowadays and you see the generator hung up on the crane, that's yeah. why. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, construction world. I was part of that problem. Uh, uh, dude, uh, yeah, it's uh, okay. I, I say I, I was part of the problem. I wasn't the main problem. Well, it also kind of goes to show you how like people get suckered into things. Oh, Colts yeah. happen and all that yeah, kind of yeah, stuff. Absolutely. It's just so, so yeah. easy. Yeah. You know? Well, I trusted my brother. You know, I was really suspicious of most people. Still am. I really, I still, yeah. I still am. I don't, I don't trust most people. Um, but I trusted my brother, and you know, he took full advantage. Yeah, he right. was, he was that way. But uh, how about your other brother? Uh, quiet uh, his whole life yeah he's yeah. he's been you know well, he came with me he's he's very much um he likes the shiny stuff just like me so you know mm. we, we did we did snag a couple of firebird emblems and things like that yeah. I, I bet you he still has them uh, probably i'm not kidding man he he keeps everything so i bet you he still has them well, well you know what uh, wow you, you know but it's in, it's interesting because it's just not realizing the long term effect. Yeah, I have no idea. No yeah. idea. Yeah. I have no you know you know it's selfish in a in I won't say innocent way, but it's a it's a ignorant way. I just had no clue what mm. the repercussions of my actions were. I knew deep down inside it wasn't the right thing to do, but I had no idea what the you know, what the repercussions would be. But uh, oh, this conversation went in a direction. Yeah, sorry about that. No, it's good. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's, what, that's what we're doing it. <laughs> yeah. But uh we got anything else written down there? Um let's see what else. Um yeah, stealing the car emblems. That's just one of them. Yeah. I don't know, it's weird. Well, yeah, it's one okay. of things that, that never goes away. You know, it's like no. sticking my brain because I knew it was wrong. And, you know, same with uh, all around the same. It was probably within a year. I bet mm-hmm. you all this stuff happened. And we started stealing bikes as well, just local neighborhood kids' bikes. And how idiotic is that? Like, yeah. what are you going to do with the bike that the kid's not going to recognize that's his bike when you're riding around? You know what right. I mean? So, uh, yeah. Oh, I, yeah it's I not like we had a. It's not like we had a network of you know right. garages we could right. take yeah, it to like and a shop shop. Down. Yeah. But, but <laughs> no, I had my bike idiots, stolen idiots. by a neighborhood kid. And yeah. my, I remember my mom. I went looking for it. My mom found it, like chewed the kid out. Yeah. Man, one of my favorite stories about my mom. Uh, it, at the time, I was super embarrassed. Uh, but it's uh, back when we were kids. You know, my uh, and uh, you know, my mom has since passed away, but. Uh, we you know we we'd catch the bus which sucked right mm-hmm. and uh, and one time we were like uh, going to catch the bus and, uh, and and I remember like we were running late and mom, so my mom was already freaking like you know Frantic. pretty angry yeah mm-hmm. she's pretty mm-hmm. angry mm-hmm. right and she's like get down there get the bus and so <laughs> so we're like going down there and like I think I don't even say like my sister was like you know half in pajamas carrying like books in a sock <laughs> you know like I'm I'm uh-huh. like I'm like I, you know, I'm totally I'm the youngest so I'm basically like just tagging along oh i don't even know but i can't remember you know again i was a kid i don't remember i don't really remember the details but i do remember the fallout so we go to the bus the bus pulls up but but he can see us coming the driver Uh right clearly you Uh know here comes these kids but you know he ends up like shutting the door and pulling away and like leaving us like almost standard so we go home and of course at the time i'm thinking well i guess no school today yeah right yeah and this is going to work out great my mom was like get in the car (laughs) So we all load in this car, right? The Galaxy 500, right? Yes. And, uh, yeah, oh, what I'd give for that car! Oh, no doubt, man. Yeah. It was it was a uh, kind of like you know, milkshake brown, kind oh. of like you know. And so, uh, so she hauls ass in metallic, and uh, so she and so the bus had to like do this loop, and so she knew that, and so uh-huh. she cut the corner, you know, cut you know, got in front of the bus, stopped, uh-huh. get on the bus, and so we get on the bus, and she so we go so he opens up. And my mom just like offloads on this guy, like literally. I remember, like at the time, I was so embarrassed. Sure, you know? yeah, yeah. I was like, oh my god, I can't believe my mom. Now you'd be like, yeah, you I'm go, like, mom. Exactly. Yeah. No, I'm like, good for you, man. Yeah. You like basically, this guy was eviscerated by my mom. Yeah. I'm like, who are you treating kids this way? You know, yeah. and she made, and she'd done that a couple times in my life. She actually right. treated out people for me. I didn't like it. I mean, yeah. there's a couple yeah, times yeah. she did it. I was kind of like, 
ooh, that's awkward. Yeah. I mean, but uh, but that guy had it coming. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Yeah, no doubt. So, uh, but yeah, you know, I think about other stuff. I think about like uh, there was a few summers that were like perfect summers. You yeah, know, I like, had a couple of those too. Yeah, like yeah. where, like the the whatever, and I think it was the '80s, but. Uh, when ET came out, like mm-hmm. like a, and I was a latchkey kid, you mm-hmm. know, both my parents worked, mm-hmm. and so, uh, but but at the time, we had a neighbor that we uh, that was kind of taking care, kind of pseudo taking care of us, you know, mm-hmm. and so she was taking us to movies and all that kind of stuff, and the pool, and right. and uh, when's the, when's the last time you've been to your youthful house? Uh, two thousand eight. Okay. You know? and, yeah, not uh, too long ago. Not too long ago. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, and uh, uh, I, have, I have friends in Atlanta, and we went out to visit, and I drove around and. I like to do that. I, mm. I mean, only because uh, I think it's you know I, I don't know I you know you know there's something I, I I still feel and again probably one of the reasons we're having this podcast is that I still feel a connection to to my whole life. You right, know what I mean? Right. What I went to you? I went to my old house in Sanford, and um, it uh, it surprised me mm-hmm. at how small the place was. And again, the spatial you know mm-hmm. relationship. When I was a kid, it didn't seem small. Mm-hmm. But I go back and look now, and you've got to be kidding me. That can't that can't even be a thousand square feet. Right. And five of us lived in that house. Wow. So, um, and what a what a crappy neighborhood. I mean, I knew we were poor, but what the hell did I know? Right. I was a little kid. You know what I mean? Right. But man, looking back, I was like, okay, I can now officially say I grew up poor, dirt ass poor, poor right. as shit, man. It, it, but it didn't bother me at the time. Still doesn't bother me, no. actually. You know what I mean? Not at all. But um, I think that I gained a lot from right. learning, you know, the value of things. But, um, yeah, it, and then the, the other house that I grew up in as, as a teenager in West Palm Beach, um, I looked it up on Google. You know, you can do the, mm-hmm. the street view. And uh, same thing. I'm like, man, that was small. And in that little house, like my dad, his brother— because my parents separated when I was about two, I think. So mm-hmm. I lived with my mom in, in Sanford and then eventually moved with my dad. But in that house was him and his brother. They bought the house together. And then uh, the three of us, the three boys, mm-hmm. lived in there. And he had actually built a little shed out back. It was pretty much like a garden shed, a little bit bigger than that. And that was our room because there was no room. It's a two-bedroom house. So, so you guys we, lived out in the garden shed? Yeah. Holy crap, yeah. you were it was, poor. It, it was a little bit, <laughs> to my own space, but it was a little bit bigger than a garden shed. You know, it was like a, a large bedroom, basically. And the three of us shared that for a few years. And they built then, it. Um, yeah, it was like a, one of those that you can buy gotcha. and the guys will come and build, you know. But no AC. <clears throat> I put an AC in eventually because I ended up staying there until I graduated high school. Gotcha. And then when my two brothers moved out, that was my bachelor pad, man. But Wow. Yeah. For a long time, we would sneak out. So it was separate, totally separate from the house. It was like an extended driveway by about 15 or 20 feet and then the shed. So, you know, everybody goes to bed at night. Everything's all quiet. We can sneak out and jump the fence and take off and we yeah. can go roam the neighborhood and do bad things. That was what this podcast was originally about. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I, the, the house I grew up in is interesting. Again, I've said this about four or five times already in this podcast. Talking to my brother, who uh-huh. actually goes back uh, goes back more often than I do. He is, I mean, I had friends. I didn't stay in touch. I, I have not stayed in touch with any yeah, of my me friends. Yeah, me either, so like, dude. Like one. Like one Honestly, friend. okay. You... Yeah. And my brother are the only two people that I've stayed in touch with over any length of time. Right. Yeah. That's well, it. And, and but my yeah, same. And my brother has friends. It's funny because I, I actually talked to him recently. I was like, hey, you go back because he has a couple friends that I'm kind of like that I like. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? That I, that I would, wouldn't mind seeing. Mm-hmm. And I even comment. I said, hey, next time you go back, I, I wouldn't mind going with you. And he's like, and he kind of was like, mm. and the reason why is that yeah, those two people he may see for like a day and then there's going to be everybody else that I don't I'm not right. really done but but that doesn't bother me I I, I mean I can, I can occupy my own time you know right. but uh but with that said you know he went back to the neighborhood we grew up that we pretty much grew up in mm. and we were poor I mm. mean we were, we were probably lower middle class mm. I would say you know and uh uh but the neighborhood because of what's going on in Atlanta has been kind of gentrified so mm. the, the, mm. he said the name it's interesting and he actually told me this and I and I, and I I'm I'm hoping I understand what he said correctly, but like there was our neighborhood, and then there was like the rich neighborhood mm-hmm. that we that where a lot of his friends lived, and that was where we you know one of those areas we weren't supposed to go, but mm-hmm. we would go anyway, mm-hmm. you know, because it was across a road called Peachtree Industrial, mm-hmm. the, the name Industrial, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. Uh, so it was a little dang, it was I guess yeah, it was dangerous. trucks and all yeah, that stuff. Yeah, yeah, you know, but it was all we were not going to get hit yeah. anyway. But mom was like, "That's probably stay off that road." Yeah, yeah. yeah. So anyway, but we would do it anyway. Yeah, of course. But uh, but he was telling me that like our neighborhood is actually kind of again like it's got kind of that. You know, old but new kind of feel. Okay. The houses are all nice. He said okay. the neighborhood that was rich is 
like kind of going downhill. Downtrodden. Yeah, that's kind of interesting to me. Yeah, hey, you yeah. Know, yeah and cycles, every, right? Cycles, exactly. Yeah. Well, but, my neighborhood was poor and still poor. Well, I haven't seen yeah. the cycle yet. <laughs> Maybe crossed, I should buy property. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> no. <Yeah. laughs> well, no, it just depends on where. And again, we, yeah. that's a whole other topic, but yeah. it probably yeah. depends on where it is. You know, yeah. Atlanta is just Atlanta, I guess. Yeah. You know, yeah. so. But uh, okay. but yeah, you know, uh, but yeah, I mean, again, there, I, I, I think it could all kind of be summed up with the fact that there was just no reason to stay inside. Yeah, no, we, we definitely, I had Saturday morning cartoons. Sure. I was addicted to that. I, I loved it. I would get up early. I would hit my cereal early and I was glued to that damn TV. Still are. Um, yep. But then that's it. I, I didn't, um, as I get a little bit older, we, we still only had four channels. Yeah. Um, but you know, there's a few shows that I would always try to catch if I could. Rockford Files, I loved oh. it. Which, by the way, I got to tell you, on the Roku channel, I'm I'm watching every episode of Rockford Files. I'm going through it, Did and I, I, sometimes I only watch them 15 minutes at a whack, and then I shut it off and pick it up later. But yeah, I say right now, good I can say right now, we may have a podcast about it. The Rockford Files is the greatest TV show ever made, mm. and if you don't think so, I will fight you. <laughs> Okay, let's go. <laughs> Death match. That is a great show. I, I, I tell you what, it was good. Yeah, it was. was it's a great show. Yeah, yeah. And and um, who's the bionic woman? What's her name? Lin- Lindsay Wagner. Yeah, she was a, his girlfriend she, a lot. Yeah, she did a she did one of the couple of the early couple episodes. episodes yeah. And you can see it instantly. What a great actress she was. Mm-hmm. I mean, compared to really? all the rest of the people on there, outshines them all. Supernatural. Right flowing conversation she's not awkward and smoking most hot, yeah well hot. she was pretty yeah. yeah but most of the rest of those people the acting is just stunted you know it's right. very like uh. but she was great man i can totally see why she got picked up for several things but uh, yeah. anyway that that was divergent um but yeah so yeah i i don't you know i only stayed in touch with you from the 90s mm-hmm. um so that's been 30 years mm-hmm. holy shit All right i know uh and of course my brother um but other than that, I've never been in touch with anybody. And it's funny because when Facebook first came out, I'm like, ah, cool. And I, and I tried to look up a couple of people, but didn't get – but I don't really care. And maybe yeah. that's selfish. Maybe it's – I'm uh, not really sure what it is. I, but I just is what it is. Yeah. I don't really care. I'm happy with the life I got. Well, and, and I'm, a, I'm, on, I'm on Facebook, and I have, mm-hmm. I have friends on Facebook that, uh, that I grew up with, but we don't communicate. They're not really yeah. friends. Oh, I had one guy. Who was – oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I had a guy get in touch with me. And uh, we were friends in high school, and obviously life has gone on for both of us. And I just could he was reaching out and super friendly and all of that stuff and, and nothing negative. And I just couldn't connect. I didn't. He was mm-hmm. telling me all these stuff that's going on in his life, and I'm just like, I don't care. And, and it's not in a mean way. It's just, just like I don't. Well, maybe maybe a better way to put it is I don't have the time in my life to dedicate to catching up. Right. With all the stuff that you got going on, you know what I mean? Because it's right. not like we're all of a sudden we're going to be old chums and. and You're right. You know? Yeah. Well, and again, I, you know, it's funny because that I've got I'm, I've been kind of on the other end of that before. Okay. Where, uh, where, uh, like I said, it, it's I have this again. I just kind of look at the timeline of my life, and mm. I, and I, I don't. And again, I don't want to be like I'm super nostalgic or super mm. melancholy about. Mm. I am mm. to a certain extent. I mm. mean, I do look at the things like we talked about the in one of the podcasts about the. Our, our movies of the 70s those mm-hmm. all th- those things all in, uh, affect me but I, I live in the moment you mm-hmm. know sure. I live today and I, I'm looking forward right? right but with that said you know there was definitely friends that I had you know like there was definitely friends that I'm kind of like I like to know what he's doing you know what I mean mm-hmm. and, and truthfully like when you start when you start uh, drilling down onto Facebook a little bit you start realizing that people just live their lives there's nothing mm-hmm. they're not like astronauts or right. dead or whatever right, you know, right. maybe but, but you know but with that said there's this one guy and he was somebody that I was like this is somebody that I, I might like to reconnect with, you know, mm-hmm. and I, and I, and it took me a little while, but I finally and again, you know, put my detective hat on, tracked him down, called him. It was just the most awkward phone call. Yeah, like he just didn't want he, he you know we talked, it was fine, you know, right, right. But I I just got the idea that he really I don't know I don't know if maybe I did something to anger him or sometime mm-hmm. or other, but he, you know, the phone call lasted maybe like fifteen minutes. I was like, ah, oh, maybe next time in Atlanta I'll be in touch. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. I mean, still lives there. He's very successful. Right. You know, but... Uh, I, I don't know what it is, man. And it's, uh, it's... I don't know if it's a personality-driven thing or what, but I, I'm very much like that. I'm just yeah. like... Um, it's it's shocking to me, personally, that you and I have stayed friends for so long. Because, I mean, there was times where we didn't talk to each other a couple of years, you know, because right. you were doing your thing. I was... Shit, I was all over the world, man. Well... 
I will tell you on that note, I think for us, because certain aspects of our life did parallel, Mm -hmm. like we both were, you know, and again, this is really revealing stuff. We both got a divorce about the same time. Mm -hmm. We both were dating. Some of the conversations we had about dating. Oh, yeah. I don't think we're going to podcast about that. Dude, that's (laughs) some funny (laughs) stuff, man. Holy cow. (laughs) Back when we were in our 30s and we were dating. And uh, some of it's almost worth talking about. I don't know. Oh, man, it's so funny. And then, uh, then, you know, we both got married again at the same time. And also, we do have, we just have very similar interests. We do got a lot of stuff in common. It's, which is yeah, good, you know. Yeah. And I don't, I don't be, I don't even begrudge the people that that I haven't been in contact with or any right. in any which way. But I just like I'm 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 very content right now. My world is really small, and right. I I like it that way. Well, I don't want drama. Not even that. Not even right. not even the drama. It's like it's like I, I can control it when it's this small. You know what I mean? Yeah. I got like a handful of people that are important to me that I interact with regularly. And then that's it. And and that's that's just how I like it. I yeah. like to manage it that way. And. I don't have aspirations of, like you said, being an astronaut or anything like that. No. I'm going to be a rock star, so I'm I'm comfortable with it, I guess. You're, you're a rock star to me. Yeah, thanks, Tony. So anyway. Come on, Tony. Well, uh, well, well, let's end it on that. Yeah, 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 let's, let's end it on that. Let's end it on that. So, yeah. If I'm you good. suffer I'm, through this, I'm, gosh, oh, man. I'm you. getting a little weepy. I'm sure yeah. you are, too. <laughs> So, so if you listen to this whole thing, well, you probably nice. deserve a medal. Uh, that's pretty good stuff. I yeah. thought it was fun. Okay, so all right, we're going to call it there. Uh, yeah. uh, next podcast will be a good one, you know, and uh, and I hope you enjoyed this. Yep. Next next time, I think, what did we talk? Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. All right, you guys. Right. Have, everybody have a great day. Yeah.